What's up, YouTubers? So, uh, I have a very special game for you. Um, once again, in the public beta environment server, uh, there has been a massive glitch revealed. Uh, and that is the beauty of public beta environments. I mean, there's some so there, there's so many OP glitches on the public beta environment. I'm going to call it PBE. That if they were to have not been uh, noticed, they would have destroyed the ranking system. And here's another one. So long story short, uh, League implemented a new sort of system in the shop where you can undo purchases as long as you don't leave the shop. And so they released this on PBE to, for testing. And now I am exploiting the ranked solo queue ladder on PBE with this glitch. I mean, don't blame me. It's, it's for testing. Come on. And on top of that, maybe I'll find some more stuff I can report to Riot. So don't, don't get on my tail for exploiting the ranking system. And on top of that, um, yeah, uh, most, maybe there are other, like, Literally, it seems like everyone knows how this glitch works. So it's not like I'm, I'm going to like freaking be at an advantage. I mean, I'm sure their support knows how this works too. And that's why he's on the solo queue ladder exploiting the system. So we're all on an equal level. The difference is I know what to do. I know how to support. And I know the uh, value of a good ward. And so because there's going to be so many freaking wards... Um, well, first off, let me just tell you what this glitch is. Uh, basically, you can get infinite vision wards at no cost to you. Well, technically, the cost is first you need to have enough money to buy a stone and a vision ward. Um, so, I unfortunately, I can't show you this glitch yet. Okay? Uh, should I rush? I mean, I risk, the, I risk losing the lane if I rush this early. Okay, fine. Uh, it's going to be a while. It's going to be a little bit. Actually, screw it. Alright, so... I did a very, very dangerous thing. I pretty much went... Um, Ruby Crystal. And that is to rush the uh, side stone. And basically, um, if you guys want to know exactly how to do this glitch, uh, I made a little custom game tutorial video on that. So you can either subscribe to my channel for once that's released, or you can just uh, check my channel. Just click the link, or just click my name below, Will You League. It will direct you to my channel, and then just look for the tutorial on how to do this glitch of Infinite Vision Wars. But basically... Some of you guys out there might be like, who cares? They're just, they're just sight wards. That doesn't mean you win a game. You do not know the value of a ward or the value of a vision ward. By using vision wards, you cut off vision from the enemy. And by the way, if the enemy knows this cheat too, it's going to be a slaughter, okay? There are going to be wards everywhere on the map, like thousands, hundreds of wards everywhere on the map. And I'll be killing theirs. They'll be killing mine. It'll be a constant slaughter. But anyhow... um. Uh, let's see here. It's fine, it's fine. He'll get here in time. A good ward can save so many lives. By just warding objectives, you can steal objectives. You can get your team to steal objectives. Uh, by warding well here, you can kill their vision, allowing for a good gank, or preventing a gank from killing you. And wards can just give you massive control. If you know that two people are here and three are here, you can freaking force a five-man fight here before they can react. I mean, there's so much you can do with wards. Uh, the game started. I can't just explain every single thing to why wards are useful. By the way, you like this Mew Sona skin? This is one of the perks to PBE. You get free skins. Anyhow, uh, let's, let's play this game. Watch. You poke, and then you back off. You auto attack. I get that plus three damage, plus three gold for the uh, uh, auto attack because of my masteries. It's all good. Now, um, each time he comes in for auto attack, you want to uh, Q and then auto her. Why? Because you want to get as much damage as possible. And by doing that, uh, each auto only does about 30 damage, but every piece of damage counts. So you, when she comes in, Q, and then back out. Very easy. And then avoid the hooks from Thresh. That's simple. 
and you just keep doing this until she gets forced out of lane. Uh, she went Dorn's Blade, so by doing this, she's very, very, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I'm screwed. Flash. I screwed up. I, uh, I didn't juke that. Uh, it's because I'm talking, guys. I'm talking, so it's, it's, it's harder on me. Anyhow, once I get to my glitch, uh, this game will be completely different. Well, not, it's not like you win every single game, okay? Wards, like, glitches don't guarantee wins on games. They increase your advantage tremendously, but there's, that doesn't guarantee you you're going to win a game. At the end of the day, it's simply a glitch. So, as of now, it's pretty even. Uh, Thresh, I don't think he knows about this glitch, uh, judging by, by what he built. Uh, this ruby crystal pretty much gives it away. It, it's pretty much saying that I know the glitch. That's why I'm greedily rushing towards the items needed to buy the items for it. And I thought it'd be more fun if he, if someone on their team knew the glitch too, because that way it'd just be a massive ward slaughter. But uh, yeah, this 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 is going to get crazy. Okay, this game's going to get real crazy real quick. Once once I get the glitch sorted out. Man, am I banking on this glitch to work? Oh yeah, and by the way, um, because of this glitch, which is pretty much infinite vision wards at no cost to you, um, there's there's another thing, which is uh, what was it again? For masteries, there's a mastery that gives twenty five percent increased um. Increased vision range, which I went for sure. Why? Because you will see this whole map will be warded up. It will be like a hundred wars on the map. It will be, it will be League of Legends history. This is gonna go on the the, the front page of Law Reddit, maybe in the front page of freaking uh, Reddit.com. Probably not, but maybe maybe even uh, Trick Two G will watch this video and he'll be he'll be amazed and awed. Again, probably not, but maybe. Who knows? Ooh, that was close. If I had, uh... and because I have this mastery where I get uh, plus three GP each time I uh, auto a champion, you want to keep autoing them. The problem is with an uh, all-in lane like Thresh, uh, sometimes it's worth just uh, stepping back, oh, so you don't uh, get pulled in. Fiddlesticks is here. Yeah, I'm stupid. I, okay, he's back me. He's back me. He's he's back me. We're good. I got away. I got away. Wow, that was close. That was very close. I thought I wouldn't get away. I'm just gonna heal him and back off. I'm just gonna heal him and back off. That's about it. It's too risky with fiddlesticks here, but I have enough now. I believe I have enough for this glitch. So, uh, quick tutorial. Watch this. You you buy the side stone, right? Buy division ward. Exit out. Click it again. Click undo. And then test it out. What the fuck? It didn't work. Shoot! Did I do the glitch wrong? Probably. Alright. Buy this. Okay, and then you f swap places too. And then you undo it. And then it should work. Oh, it didn't work. What the heck? Basically, you buy the sight stone, buy the vision ward, swap spots here, then you click the undo function. And it should work. Yes, it worked. Yes. Fuck yes. Fuck yes, it worked. It's over. The game is over. I just won. I just won the game for our team. <coughs> watch, watch. <laughs> it's over. Watch. I'm just going to place one here. What? Whatever. And I'll place one here too. 
Okay, actually, no, it's it's not over. Just wards don't win the game. Well, they do, but they don't. It's not like an instant vic victory. It's not like the victory s screen gets displayed immediately as soon as you you get this glitch to work. It takes time and patience, guys. Watch. So I've only placed two wards now, right? But watch this. I can place another. Now nah, I'm not gonna exploit it because I don't want them to know. I'm not gonna sh uh, spam wards while they are close by. I don't want them to know I can do this yet. Uh, I want to push this lane so that I can ward without them realizing what I've done. <laughs> These are vision wards too. They're not a uh, freaking sight stone ward. Okay, so I have like everything freaking warded now. It's GG. You gotta have patience. Like, it doesn't look like the game is won yet, but it is. Why? Because I'm I'm freaking a special junior. Yeah, this this thresh sucks. There's no wards here, so for him to. Uh, oh wait, no, he's low. I was gonna call for jungle. This is what I'm banking on. I'm banking on no one knows how this glitch works as of yet. So if ever uh, Ez backs, because if I leave the lane, it's going to be 1v2, he's going to be zoned. But if, if Ez ever needs to back or he needs to roam or something, I'm going to mid lane to ward both sides with my vision wards. That will provide infinite vision. Uh, it's gonna be very risky if I go. Just careful. I'm gonna ping once for care, and then I'm just going to uh, yeah ward like that, which is good enough. Okay, it's fine. Don't, don't, t don't fucking tell him to buy an oracle. So it's very clear that he has not bothered to ward once and I'm calling for Shivana, our jungler, to gank but this is again, this is how retarded people are on, in solo queue. They see the pink wards, they don't freaking gank. They see the team overextended, no gank, no wards, nothing. Okay, whatever. If Shivana is not willing to gank. Whatever. Well, I might get jabbed here. I'm just going to tell them that they're going to get ganked. So they, they know that they have that potential. Because I, I don't think Siobhan is coming. He's not coming. So... The reason why they were so overextended, despite having no wards, is because they they didn't even realize the the danger of jungle. And the problem with that is, if our Shivana is also a noob and doesn't gank, then they gain the advantage by being overextended without pressure of from their jungle. So by me telling them that uh, they're going to get ganked, okay, now it's bad. They 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 push back. Okay, whatever. Ez pushed too hard. That's it. Edge, edge pushed too hard. Oh, nice flash, nice flash. He knew I was coming. I 
I'm just gonna keep poking like slowly and surely we're gonna win this thing it's just if this was a high elo game uh, it would be over it would be over by now I'm just a little outraged at the the, f the foolishness of this but you gotta be patient if you want to win solo queue games you gotta be patient I wasn't expecting Thresh to uh Yeah, they should have gone in a long time ago. I don't know what he's doing. He's so indecisive. Yeah, this this Siobhan is so freaking slow. He doesn't know what he's doing. I had to tank because they're too big of a pussy to tank. Alright, whatever. I, I was making sure not to be killed by turret aggro because I knew they would have been stupid oh fuck I'm screwed I knew they would have been stupid and I knew um, they would have they wouldn't have listened and they would have freaking uh, got taken by turret aggro here it was just imp they overstayed their welcome hard hardcore So I'm not gonna mess with this side stone because I have a feeling it might stop working if I if I do. I already have infinite ward, so I don't need a ruby crystal. So as of now, I will be going for the next big item. Where is Ezreal? He's not even close by. What? It's gonna. The turret's gonna be gone before you get here. Like, it's, it's gonna go. It's gonna go. Where are you, Ez? Should I alt? Should I alt? No, I'm not gonna alt. He, he wants to hook. He wants to hook. He wants to freaking hook. What the heck was that? Oh. They have no vision. Why? Because they have no wars. This, this Ez is too, uh, he's too freaking, uh, scared. He plays so scared. Stop playing so scared, Ez. Be a man. Come on. Play like a man, Ez. Play like a man, Ez. Oh. Too big a coward. Anyhow, I'm, I'm ditching this Ez, like. Honestly, you suck. Okay, you suck, guys. End of story. You suck. No offense to you. That's it's not verbal abuse because I didn't put it in chat. So now we just go about warding stuff. As support, this is what you do. Like, there's very little you can do without without wards as support. Well, not really, but still. As of now, we should be looking to Baron or go top or do something. Okay, as is pinging Baron, will he do it? Will he do Dragon? No. He's asking for assistance. Okay, I'm on my way. We should definitely be doing this. Shivana is just like derping around. I don't even know what he's doing there. He was literally standing there AFK. Oh shoot. Fiddle has smite, that's the problem. Shivan is not close. Okay, they're, they're backing off now. Now it's gonna get smited by them. I'm gonna ward this. 
This Thresh is not bothering with buying a single ward. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me, Shivana? Oh goodness, Shivana is dead too. There's no way he can survive this. There's no way he's dead. He has to be dead. There's no way. Fools. Is he low? He's smart though. See, that's the power of wards. Had we not warded there, we wouldn't have known that Zerif was so low. If we didn't know Zerif was so low, LeBlanc wouldn't have chased and gotten that kill off. Here we see Fiddle because we have the whole jungle warded. So we know we know when a gank's going to happen. There there is no ganks anymore. It's just straight up death. Yeah, this this S does no how to play. That was a guaranteed kill. It's a bad S. Probably silver rating, gold rating, bad S. This is a my new account on public beta environments. Well not new, but uh other account. Here's another one. I'm going to go ahead and back off here. Even with vision control, like this is my little experiment. A lot of people say, like uh, if you if you look at like uh, GBay99, this was like a direct quote from him, which had always outraged me. He said, um, he said something like, uh, in low elo, if you ward their entire jungle, you can carry games hard. And here's my little experiment. I will be warding their entire jungle with this infinite ward glitch to see if this is actually true or not. Can I honestly carry this game hard with this glitch? And if I can't, then that's a problem. And I'll be doing a lot more games like a ton more live commentary games which I'll be uploading just to see if this is true or not and maybe it's true maybe it isn't but if it isn't true it just shows like how hard it is to carry our support because like right now I have this infinite ward glitch and if it wasn't for this glitch why are you chasing Shivana you're like freaking low as heck then how, how is the support supposed to carry games when they don't have the money to get infinite wards like I do with this glitch? So it's it's just a little bit on like how freaking sometimes you just get outplayed and no amount of wards can help you. I don't know, we should be doing pretty good. Everyone is positive except me, so I guess I should be blaming myself for that. This game should be won, is my point. Anyhow, uh, another thing is I shouldn't be staying here. And because I am just roaming and warding everything, um, I should be careful here. Okay. And here, too. I should be very careful. I don't have move speed. So I have the whole jungle warded, and now they're scared. Like, this Vayne is scared to take this red because he knows it's warded. Huh. He has to be face checking. He doesn't know. See, with this I have confidence. With wards you have confidence on what to do. Now, they can still come back. Why? An oracles will destroy me. They will get so much money from an oracle. So this is not like some end all glitch. If they're smart and they buy an oracles, it will destroy me. I will get owned. Why? Because I'm giving like f 
literally infinitely free money to them each time they kill a ward. But this stretch sucks, so it won't be like that. Ooh, we, we are screwed here. I'm gonna going in, alting, and then backing out. Yeah, that was bad. I shouldn't have stayed. They got cocky and overstayed their welcome. And because of the importance of wards in this game, I need to get mobility boots. Let's see if we can kill this guy. Oh, he placed a uh, ward. Dude, you're, uh, you're auto attacking the ward, not Xeroth. Noob. Okay, he still survived, but he, he was being stupid. He could have died. I don't even think that I wouldn't even consider that cockiness because he didn't do it on purpose. He was too stupid. Also, this is a very good thing. This is why um This is why pink wards are so strong because with oracles, you have to be there to kill the ward. But with pink wards, if you leave the site and they place a ward, another member of your team can kill it for you while you're gone. So yeah, this this game is pretty much over. Come. You have to back off here. Exhaust them. I get taunted, but it's all good. If they focus on me, I can Shirelia's very soon. Well, not really. I have Flash too, so it's not a big issue. I'm getting this kill, Biatch. KS. Worth. So now I will go this item. That's not good. All the wards have died now. For this LeBlanc to stay, it, it's very risky. I'm going to ping Dragon until he does it. Like, literally, he did not notice Dragon right there. He did not notice. He walked this way past it. So, it's very frustrating playing support, especially when you're already on tilt. But, um, the main problem is you seeing, like, all these things that could have been done better. But as support, you, you just can't control that. So as support, what I should be doing is just focusing on me. So I will just move about, make sure I don't die here. It's very, very, like just focus on yourself. Make sure you don't die. Be very careful when I ward this. Okay, I see them. I'm gonna ward here. They see me warding, so I'm, I'm gonna back off. Jeez, I just wasted five wards in the area it's okay though so there's at least like three in the bottom half so what I'm going to do is I'm going to the top half of the jungle and I'll, I'm gonna start warding do I should ver really really invest in a oracles of some sort honestly If I ward here, will they see it? Yeah, he'll see it. He'll see it and he'll go for it, right?
I want I'm going to use this as bait. Each time he goes in to auto attack that. Oh, I'm overstaying. I should really uh, just just in case. Get out of there. I'm going to heal you, but you're in a very precarious Ah, we're good now. Here comes Vane. Here comes Vane. This is the power of having control of their jungle. They can't see anything. It's just black for them. It's literally just black. Notice that alt by me and that exhaust. Not too bad, huh? I initiated that fight there. Okay, so now they're, they're going too deep. I'm going to ping the back. I'm the leader here. I am the general. Now to ward inside their base, so we know what's going on in here. Nice! Nice LeBlanc. Beautiful, beautiful. And then there's Shen Tapa, he's like... He's so fed, it's it's not even worth I mean he's not fed, he's just very very tanky. Like it's literally black right now. Oh I'm I'm getting away. Shirelia. The power of Shirelia. But yeah. As you can see, Zareth all queued into this brush. Why? Because he they have no vision. Like this whole place is black to them. The entire place is black to them. Oh shoot, they've already updated on PvE, like last game it was not updated. You can still buy freaking uh, Runic Bulwark, I guess they fixed it. Man, that's kind of sad. I'd rather they not. Why, why are you throwing? Why must they throw? Yeah, this LeBlanc is building very strangely. This Thresh has still yet to buy a ward. Jeez, I don't even know what this, what elo this is. Yeah, I'm not gonna bother uh, alting there. It's not worth wasting an alt. I'm just gonna ward on top in case they have oracles. Nope, none of them have an oracles. Oh, he's telling away. Will it be enough? Will it be enough? Nope. That's fine. Also, uh, one one good thing to do as support is always ward the lanes. Why? Because it gives further vision. So we got a hybrid, well no, it's a, yeah, it's a hybrid LeBlanc going here. Maybe it's a new meta, I don't know, he's 11-3. Maybe it's good, maybe he's good, I don't know. Man, I've gotten so much gold from just auto-attacking champions. Next item will be something crazy. Nah, I think I would just go Zeke's Herald. Has Thresh bought a single ward yet? Nope. What 
the heck? Wow, locket builds from this now? Cool. Now I don't have to choose between them. I could just build the whole thing. Looks like they took dragon. It's kind of bad. We have Baron control though. Yeah, they had to have taken it. Yeah, right there I just saved Sh Shivana from death. LeBlanc, come on, dude, come on, why? Don't worry, LeBlanc is the, is the queen of jukes. Check this out. Okay, she sucks, never mind. What are you doing? Come on, you're the queen of jukes. You should know how to... How to deal with this. Oh, well. I survived. This is OP, so overpowered. Ah, I'm gonna die from turret. No! I survived with 40 HP. So here comes Vayne with the back door, very smart. However, it will not be enough to stop us. Why? Because we're too good. By the way, right, if you're watching this video, I have a suggestion for you guys. For Zeke's Herald, change the tier 2 ingredients. No one wants this Vampiric Scepter. It's useless, it's costly, it doesn't help at all. One point four nine attack speed on the block. It's pretty good. See, I wouldn't consider this like a real hybrid because she's not really looking for attack damage. She's looking for attack speed, and then the rest just goes into her magic. So it's it's more like a a magic, an AP build that's focused on auto attacking to win. Okay, here comes here comes me. Here comes me moving across. There she goes. Horrid alt from Shivana. Here comes my Shirelia almost up. I only had time to lock it there. What's this guy doing? Oh, he's over here now. I don't think he's bought in one ward. Like, they've given up on wards. They, they didn't even bother to ward. Probably in my next game, once I get higher elo, we'll get uh, more hard opponents who actually ward. And then there'll be counter warding and then oracle fights and all sorts of problems. But yeah, I think the best way to win for Thresh is uh, not to buy any wards like he's doing, but also to buy an oracles. Uh, so that he can kill all these wards, but there's no way of him knowing if he didn't buy wards to begin with. If he didn't, if he bought wards to begin with, he would have realized that I'm killing them, 
and then he would have realized by oracles but he did none of those so he's just at a point where he's a, a bad support oh shoot it's fucking fiddle bot and oracles okay it's gonna it's about to get interesting fiddle just bought an oracles Kill that fucker. Kill that oracles, please. No! You guys almost let him escape. Do you know how much I needed to kill that fiddlesticks with the oracles? Oh my gosh, these guys. I land a perfect alt and everything, and they can't finish it up. So I have to flash for it. Jeez. And then Vayne keeps back backdooring like a pro. I just wanted that plus three gold off. These guys actually ran all the way here. And here comes another one. Whatever, let me just ward. There goes Shen. Let's just push. So yeah, there's two dead, uh, three went bot, so this is probably the best thing to do right now. Push, push hard. Okay, now it's, it's gotten bad. I just lagged hard there. For Teemo to recall so close, that's the most retarded thing ever. Wow, we lost that one. Okay, so that's it for this game. Like, rate, comment, and subscribe if you liked. I'll see you guys later. Peace.